I'm Sue Ann Wentworth. Um, I taught at Sexton High School for a very long time. Technically like 11 years, but I was a sub there for several years. I did my internship there. I really loved working at Sexton High School. And then I became a an instructor at LCC, um, teaching writing, remedial writing. Since I became a, a, an instructor at LCC, I've also opened a couple of businesses and started to do a lot of other things. It takes a lot, a lot of a long time to start getting the feedback that makes you feel good about the job that you do when you're a teacher. Nobody tells you you're doing a great job until later when they find out you did a great job. Like years later, you know, like you start getting people contacting you and telling you, hey, you really made a difference in my life or, you know, without you, I never would have graduated high school or without you, I would never get through this class. I wouldn't know how to write. And knowing that I made a difference. I'm one of those people that when people tell me I can't do something, I have to do it. And that's why I keep breaking all these rules. And when I was a, an intern, there was one girl who refused to learn. And she came in every day and she put her head down she, and it would just sleep through the class and she refused to talk, she refused to pick up a pencil. And I think that she was the one. I tried to talk to her. She was the one that made me decide that I really had to reach the most lost of my students. And since then, the students that I work with the best I feel are the ones who are the rule breakers, who don't want to do what other people want them to do. Because the other, the other kids are going to be just fine. And I know they're going to be fine. They'll be fine without me. But it's the kids who have obstacles or the kids who just really don't like doing what they're being told to do are the ones that are really inspiring to me because they're the rebels and they're the ones who change the world, really. You know, they'll never follow what everybody else tells them to do. They'll make their own path. And that's kind of cool. When I was growing up, my father is very abusive and not physically so much as he is verbally and mentally abusive, but he's been physical a few times. And so I grew up in a house that was constantly in fear. And um, actually I think that made me a better teacher because I can see it in people. I can see when they've been hurt. I want my classroom and my presence to be a safe presence for them to feel safe and comfortable to be who they were meant to be and sometimes they find that and I think that's pretty cool you know they they realize that hey that all this abuse that happened to me is not my fault and I can be something else I don't have to be that what people have told me I can be I think that you have to listen to your heart and because your heart will never steer you wrong. And some people are call him God and other people call him Buddha, but there's a, there is some spirit out there that guides us and helps us be what we're meant to be. And whatever you call it, you have to listen to that. You know, it's not, I never started on this path. I mean, I think in my high school yearbook, I think the quote that I gave was something about marrying somebody rich. I just wanted, because my family wanted it, they, they, I just wanted to make a lot of money and have a good life and I have definitely not followed any of the paths that they prescribed for me um, and I followed my heart and I think my heart brought me to a good place. So don't do what people tell you to do, <laughs> break the rules and do something different. I think that's my advice.